it's the divine. Sleeping through the day. Yeah. Wake up with champagne. Bro, me a A. I told no, my I had mother to I this would song. quit. What can I say? I'm still breathing. It's kind of the greatest Falling if you ask in love me. every evening. Go. So we just gonna stay. Teenage dreamers on this way. I told my mother I grow up. I my what can I say? Hey, mom, I'm, I'm gonna make it. I promise you that. Falling in love every evening. So we just gonna stay. Tyler. Teenage dreamers Austin. on this way. I told my mother I grew Aubrey. up. What can I say? Corey. I'm still breathing. Oh, yeah, Falling in gotcha. love every evening. Hello, guys. What is up? And welcome. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shay. What's up? Welcome. Please subscribe if you enjoy this video. You already know what the video is going to be. So let's get straight into this video because. I only have 25 questions. I didn't want it to be super, super long. I really wanted to film this video so that you guys can get to know me, honestly. I've obviously had my channel for two years now. I do vlog and I really enjoy DIYing and things like that. So I do different content, but I thought that this would be a little bit more of a personal video to kind of get you guys to get to know me a bit better than just a daily vlog. With that said, let's get straight into the questions. I have 25 Get a drink, sit down, and let's get to know me. First question is my full name. So if you don't know my full name from my Depop or my Instagram, my Snapchat, my full name is Shaylee. My first full name is Shaylee. My YouTube name is just my nickname, Shay. My middle name is Faye. It's both of my nan's uh, names on both sides of my family's. And then my last name is Ma, which people struggle with because there is a silent H. And for years it's been Maha and Maher or Maher or anything like that. But it is Shaylee Faye Ma. <laughs> Next question. How old am I? I am 21 years old. Didn't get to celebrate my birthday because of the pandemic. Still plan on doing so. Stay tuned for those vlogs because I was planning on celebrating. Maybe my 21st, 22nd now. But, uh... I'm 21. Alright, if I look down, it's because I have all my questions on a whiteboard underneath me. What's my star sign? I'm a Gemini. Obviously, I am a Gemini through and through. Everything about me is literally Gemini all over. My birthday is the 31st of May, the very last day of May. So, if you want to, put it in your calendar, save the date. It will be my 22nd in a few months. Interest in hobbies. So, I absolutely love everything crafty, DIY, artsy, all that kind of thing. Graphic design comes so naturally to me. I don't know how to explain it, but it just comes so naturally. Graphic design, I love it. Editing videos, obviously. Creating videos, I love doing it. Just taking photos, I love going out and taking photos, whether that be of myself or of anything. Like, I love being outside and just adventuring, I love taking photos, I love going out and taking my own Instagram content, that may be weird to some people. I know that a friend of mine, she's always like, oh, like, okay, go out and take Instagram photos by yourself, like, that's, that's weird. But, I don't know, it's something that I really, really, really enjoy, it's so much fun to me, I love uh, photography, photography is another one, um, basically just all things like multimedia and art and creative and anything like that videos. <laughs> my future goals, I would love to own a business someday, like my own business. What that would consist of, I'm not 100% sure. I am one of those people that changes their mind 24-7. So one minute I will be super, super interested in, for example, sewing. Super random, I just saw my sewing machine. I haven't touched my sewing machine in months. The next day I am like super, super into filming and then I want to bake like it's j I don't know like I just do the most random things all the time <laughs> my personality is just trying to keep up with it is hilarious I don't know how Ricky does it my nationality I am part Kiwi part Australian and part Italian I'm sure that there's like multiple different things mixed in there as well but they are probably my main three my dad's from Australia my mum's uh, got Kiwi and Italian in a super random mix but yeah why I started my YouTube channel uh, I like I said I'm super creative super I've honestly wanted to start a YouTube channel or something similar for a very 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 long time but 
I met my boyfriend five years ago and I never had internet until I met him so and everyone gives me really shocked reactions when I say that I spent the entirety of uh, like primary school doing my projects out of encyclopedias I could read an encyclopedia like the back of my hand I used to use like the school's internet but I never actually had my own internet I used to use like data on your phone because I also didn't have a plan I used to recharge my phone and be on prepaid so I would use data and other people's internet and school's internet and things like that as my resources so I didn't have internet up until five years ago fun fact so I couldn't start my YouTube channel up until around about five years ago. I started it two years ago, about three years into my relationship, when I discovered that it was a thing, that you could actually do that, because I never used to watch YouTube, obviously, because I didn't have internet. So when Ricky introduced me to watching videos, I realised that creating videos and content would be so much fun for me, and would suit my personality to a T. I just started to share my creativity and gain friends. <laughs> I really kind of just want to share my life and be able to look back at it one day myself and maybe with kids or even just with Ricky and be able to look back at different things that we do, that's why I vlog. So that's basically the long story on why I started my YouTube channel, it's all of the above. How many siblings do I have? I have one sibling, he is an older brother, he's nine years older than me, his name is Landon. Biggest role model, biggest female role model I would say is my mom. And the biggest male role model, I would obviously say, is my dad. So I would say my parents are probably my biggest role models. Um, they've always inspired me and they will always continue to inspire me. I don't know if that's a basic answer, but my parents. My hidden talent, probably my DIY skills. I can just about DIY anything I can think of and or figure a way to DIY it. Uh, or my graphic design because like I said it just comes like a natural talent to me and I don't even think twice about anything that I do and I'm always blown away by everything that I create which is weird because like I blow myself away with what I'm capable of I don't know if that's a thing with anybody else but it's really cool to do that so and to just like not know how good you are at something and not to toot my own horn that's Anyways, next question. <laughs> Do I still live at home? Yes, but I did move out for probably a year and a half by myself with Ricky. We lived with his older brother and their family and his mum and his dad. They ended up going back to New Zealand, his mum and his dad first, and then his brother and their family also went back. So we did eventually move back in with my mama. But we do plan on moving out at some stage. Sometimes I really, really, really would just like own space, my own house, my own house to set up for Christmas, my own kitchen, my own, yeah, just, just my own place. Just to feel like my own place. But overall, it is really awesome living at home. I save a lot of money living at home, but I'm saving to move out and so is Ricky. So eventually we will move out of home. How did Ricky and I meet? I'm going to make a full video on this so I'm not really going to make a detailed answer but we met at a jiu jitsu grading, super random, he came for the barbecue, funny that, um, and we met there and from that day on we have never been apart, not a single day has gone past that we have never seen each other which is kind of weird because we've been together for five years and that's a long streak. I think we're doing pretty good, not gonna lie. I will insert some photos here of when we met. We were little babies, so we've kind of grown up together. Um, we were 16 and 17 when we met, I think. And now we're both 21 and 22, so that's super cute. We've been together for like five years now, five years in January. Our anniversary is January 31st, 2017. But yeah, I want to do like a full kind of boyfriend tag video on that. But yeah, that's how we met. I answered the next question. How long have we been together? We've been together for five years. Five years in January, January 31st of uh, 22. Next one is a favourite holiday to celebrate. I am a diehard Christmas fan. Um, like I said, if I lived in my own house, I would have decorated November 1st. I bought my first Christmas present this year on November 1st 
So I absolutely love everything Christmas. The entire like November to December is like Chris. Well, actually, November to like January is like Christmas celebrations for me. I love it. I absolutely love it. If you guys could see above me, I wish you could. I do have tinsel and I do have lights as well, but you guys can't really see them. Sort of, sort of see that. I'm a diehard Christmas fan. Um, absolutely love it, everything Christmas. The vibes, the spirit, everything is just, I love it. I think it's because we didn't go all out when I was younger, so now that I'm like older and able to do it for myself, I'm like, all things Christmas. <laughs> Next question, what do I do in my spare time? Same as my hobbies, I edit videos, I take photos, I love colouring. Lately I've been really into colouring in books. Don't know why, but that's just become a new hobby of mine. I create different DIYs, I think of different DIYs, I think of video ideas. I do a lot of things in my spare time, to be honest. It's not really spare time. Next question is dream place to go. I have always, 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 always wanted to do like a, or see what it's like to do like a Christmas in New York th kind of thing, I don't know, or just see what Christmas in New York is like, I don't know why, it's just like a movie dream of mine, I've always wanted to, I keep touching my nose by the way because there's something dusty around me and I cannot figure out what it is, I really want to experience Christmas in New York basically, I don't know why. Again, diehard Christmas fan. Christmas in New York just sounds so dreamy and romantic and just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Dream job, uh, apart from being an influencer and stuff like that. Uh, just want to own my own business. I want to be super successful in whatever I do. Um, I've always wanted to do interior design and recently came up with the idea that flipping houses would probably be better suited for me because I'm not very interested in other people's opinions. I just like decorating in my way, my style, my fashion and as soon as someone has an opinion on something I kind of get a little defensive if that makes sense. So maybe I was thinking that's what I always wanted to study was interior design out of school but I do eventually want to study a business course as well so that like I said overall if I own my own business one day I have all of that business knowledge but yes I'm thinking maybe Airbnbs or you know buying and doing up and flipping houses or something along those kinds of lines instead of just interior design. I might even do that on the side. I don't know where life's going to take me, honestly. And that's okay. I think that sometimes people need to be reminded that that's okay. Three years out of school and still not knowing where your direction is headed is definitely okay. Life changes all the time. You never know what's going to happen day to day. And I totally stand by that. And this year has shown me more than ever with the amount of losses and just absolute devastation we've had in the last like not even year two years but it's just shown me a lot and you just never ever ever know what's around the corner so not knowing what you're gonna do is definitely okay if I could change anything about myself what would it be hello future editing Shayla here just popping in to confirm that in one second I said my biggest insecurity was my lips after a bit more thought I can totally confirm my biggest insecurity is and has always been my teeth. I could deal with my lips for the rest of the time if I had straight teeth but my teeth are the one thing that bugged me. I've always wanted braces it's not even one particular thing it's not the fact that there's a gap between them or the fact that they're all jagged or the fact that I'm missing one at the top it's all of it combined. I've always hated my teeth will forever hate my teeth until I get braces. Unless I'm this way and they look straight, this is my good side. This side, not my good side. I'm missing a tooth on this side. That is my biggest insecurity. My teeth, not my lips. 
So the next question, ignore that. I need to wipe my wall. I don't know what that is. What do I do for work? I work at a petrol station. I am a console operator and barista. Um, I've done that for the last two years and I absolutely love it. It is such an easy job, um, quite simple, but still, you still need to focus. But it's customer service, it's food prep, cleaning, like all kinds of things, all stuffed into one and I love it. I've done it for two years now and it's also a good pay rate but overall the job itself is just, I love it. It's so good. It's kind of very suited to my personality. I think when you are, I, I have a very bubbly personality. I love to make every experience an experience. So. I'm very big on first impressions, only impressions, last impressions, all kinds of impressions. So whether it's your first, your second, your third, any kind of time that you are coming, I try and make it the best experience that you could possibly have because one, who likes a negative server? Absolutely nobody. Two, I want them to remember me and my service and come back and I want to make that person's day honestly I live for making people's day I live for making people smile all that kind of thing just it fuels my like soul I just love making people happy I'm very much a gift giver and just love to see people's reactions I'm all about that so I try and make every experience the best experience possible so I do think that this job fits me really really well. Um, I used to work at a supermarket, same thing there. I try and make every experience a good experience. I've previously worked in fish and chip shops, I've worked in restaurants, I've worked in nail salons, I've worked, I've got lots and lots and lots and lots of different jobs under my belt. I've worked in a takeaway shop, like a Chinese takeaway shop. Um, I've just worked all over the place. That's what I do for work, that was kind of off topic, but I love my jobs I love gaining experience I love gaining knowledge I love giving knowledge I love making each and every time you come and shop where I work <laughs> to be the best experience you ever had and you to remember me and ask for me next time I love it I thrive off of it it's my favorite thing ever do I currently study anything no I am working as a casual worker I did have every intention of having a gap year originally and then going straight into studying either interior design or business but then after my gap year the pandemic hit and I just I kept working through the whole pandemic so I didn't really even consider studying honestly um, I've just been trying to keep working so no no, I currently am not studying, but I do intend on studying business or interior design or something along those lines in the future. What animals do I have? You guys know. I lost my baby boy Bruce. Um, he was my angel, my absolute angel. Um, he was actually my brother's dog, but he was our dog, like our big dog. I have my doggie though. Um, she's still around. That's my Coco. You guys know my Coco. Um, Missy you guys know she passed away recently and that still still chokes me up honestly I'm still so cut about that she was honestly like my best 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 little kid kitten friend ever like if she was like my child mum has I think two cats I have two cats that's my Coco you don't have we only have four cats I know that sounds like a lot to some people but being that I live in the house with mum if I lived away I would have two she would have two so it's not that many. Being that we live in the same house, kind of equals out to a lot, but like, yeah. So we've got four cats and one little puppy, which is my little puppy dog. If we lived at home, it would be two cats and a dog. <laughs> Nearly at the end, how would I describe my style? I would very, 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 very much so describe my style as very 2000s, 1990s vibes, everything 2000s. I love it. I don't really change with the style trends if I'm being honest. I kind of just stick to what I know, what I know suits me. Um, I do kind of go out of my comfort zone sometimes but not very often but you will day to day always see me in something very 2000s vibes and 1990s. 
I was just, I strongly believe I was born in the wrong time, 10 years too late, not to reference the song. I definitely, definitely, definitely think I was born like 10 years too late and should have been born around the same time as Landon because the era that he grew up in 1991 was just everything I live for. Like it's my favourite time and favourite decade, I think. Yeah. Everything 2000s, 1990s. My favourite time of the day, catch me every sunrise and sunset, my favourite times of the day, mostly like sunsets are my favourite, absolute favourite, catch me at every sunset, it is just, I love them. I literally chase sunsets all the time, um, just for photos, especially for Instagram photos, but sunset and sunrise, love it. I love getting up before everybody else and getting a whole heap of my stuff done before everybody's even an awake and a functioning. It just fuels my day to get up early and be productive and see a good sunrise and a good sunset. Last but not least, what is my favourite kind of content to create on my channel? A little bit of everything, honestly. I love vlogging, sit down videos, I just need to stop talking with my hands, I am aware of this. I love DIY videos, I love, I want to do more like makeup related content but I don't wear makeup that often. And I would love to do more style videos because I would love to share my style. All things <laughs> 2000s and 1990s with you guys that I do to achieve my looks. So, with that being said, I'm sure that there's so much more I could have filled into this video, but I've been filming for about 37 minutes now, and I'm about to cut this all down. If you made it to the end, leave a comment down below and let me know what you guys and what your favorite content that I make is, because that was the last question. So I will know that you are a real one. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. I hope you guys got to know me a bit better. I'm so Sorry that I didn't make this two years ago. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you stick around and definitely consider subscribing. I would absolutely love to have you as part of my little family here on YouTube. Definitely watch all of my other videos if you want to get to know me a bit better. Don't forget to check out all of my social medias in the description. My little small business Depop shop in the description. There will be some Christmas sales coming up very soon. Just comment down below anything you want. I read every single one of my comments. I love you all so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Love you. Oh my supporters. Once again I thank you man. I quit, what can I say? Hey mom I'm, I'm gonna make it. I promise you that. Falling in love every evening so we just gonna stay. Tyler. Teenage dreamers. Austin. On this way. I told my mother I grew Aubrey. up. What can I say? Corey. I'm still breathing. Oh, yeah, Falling in love you. every evening.